Hello everybody. Just wanted to share with you um, why I like pottery. <laughs> well, you might say, well, you were born into it. Yes, that's true. I, I was born into this, into this craft, and for that I'm very grateful. Um, it wasn't something I chose. It just was. None of us choose who we're born to, who our parents are. However, I find myself a potter. But I just wanted to share with you why I think pottery is such a fantastic way of earning a living or as a craft or a hobby. Okay? Clay, one of the most humble materials that man, available to man. Yeah? It's cheap. It's under most people's feet most of the time, but they don't even think about it. They tread it, they walk it, they spit on it. <sighs> they put their cigarettes out on it. This is clay, this is our raw material. Isn't it fantastic? Such a humble material. But it doesn't, it doesn't end there. Take the clay and you add water. Water. Water is the source of life. Water is a very humble liquid. The most humble liquid is water. It's all around us. It falls from the sky. Again, it's underfoot. We see it all around. A very humble liquid is water. Again, it doesn't end there. We then take our bare hands, the most humble of instruments. We apply our hands, our bare hands, with the water to the clay and with the help of another very humble instrument, a mechanical instrument, probably the very first mechanical instrument that was ever created or invented, the wheel. And simply with the, the revolving of the wheel just going round, with the pressure of our hands and the water and the skill of the potter, we create. But then, when we've created, we pass it through the fire. We can't touch it in the fire. Hands off in the fire. That's also humbling insofar as you've put all your effort into creating the work. It then goes into the, the kiln and it's fired. You can't sort of Say, so, oh, hang on a minute, I just want to make a little adjustment there. Just, just move aside, will you? Uh-uh, you can't, uh-uh, can't touch it. The fire does its work. Transforming it. Transforming it into something that is hard, durable, beautiful, decorative, pleasing to the eye and something that will last a thousand years or two or three. As we know from ancient diggings and uh, ar archaeological digs, etc. Um, one of the things that does remain are pieces of pottery, shards, sometimes intact. These are some of the reasons why I like playing with clay. I hope you I hope you do too. So keep practicing and I'll see you in the next clip.